Last night, Julie and I finished drilling the holes for the kitchen and putting all the boxes in that will be above our countertops. And uh, we're going to get ready to run our very first wire. Uh, we're going to start back in that far room and we're going to bring our first wire in. We're having kind of an issue getting parts. I don't know about in your in your area, but uh, the electrical parts are very hard to get. Even a single box for me can be challenging. So I think we've done pretty good, but we do not have the pieces to put our electrical panel in. We still need uh, like a reducer from uh, uh, three to two and a half. Uh, female in and I can't get it. I'm going to have to wait. It's Saturday. No electrical stores are open. So we got to wait till Monday or next week to get them. But there's no reason why we can't start running wires. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start running wires today and getting things figured out. What breaker is going to run what room and whatnot. So let's get to it. 12-2 wire dispenser we built on video. That's what we're going to be using to wind out all this wire. So Julie's going to be helping me today, as I think it's going to at least take two of us to do this. So what we're going to do, we're going to just fish this wire up over here, and then I'm going to get on the other side, and Julie's going to keep pulling it off. You can climb up that part if you need to, honey. Alright, I have my first wire uh, down and this is where the box is going to go and this is the bottom of the box so I'm going to just bring these wires down right to the bottom of the box and then when we go to put the box in we'll tie these up out of the way and be able to put our box in. You definitely want your wire to go all the way to the bottom of the box. That's our first wire. Now from what I understand I'm allowed to put three wires through each one of these holes. I'm not saying that I will but I'm allowed to, so by code. At least three, I think you're allowed four, but they don't really like more than three. So first wire in. Okay, we have our first wire in, and it's coming right to the TV box, and this is gonna go down and feed the rest of our room. Now, when I come up to this part here, as you see, I got about 12 inches hanging out of here. I would suggest having about eight inches because Eventually, that little bit's going to add up, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll measure this out about eight inches out of the box, and we will cut it off, strip it back, and then we'll get ready to put our next wire in. All right, we have all of our wires run into our boxes, and as you can see, we have a staple here on each one of these wires. Now, I probably could have stuck both wires in one staple, but I think I would need just a little bit bigger staple, and I don't have them, so I put two in there. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure what code would be in your area, but I do believe mine is these need to be stapled within 12 inches from this box. And that's to keep somebody from yanking them out or whatever. I, I don't know. I don't know where they're going to go, but anyhow. We got the staples in there, and I leave about six inches out of that box. I like to keep them pretty close to the same length. This one looks a little longer, but it's really not. It's just the way they're turned. But six inches sticking out of the box, and I measure from the outside of the box to the tip. Now, if you're going to measure from the inside, it's about nine and a half, but about six inches sticking out of the box. So first thing I'm going to do, and what I'm doing is I'm just getting this ready for the inspector and what we're going to do is uh, these will be tucked up in here and then after the drywall's in uh, up then we'll come back and we'll pull the wires out and we'll be able to wire them together. 
So what I'm going to do is reach in here with my carpenter knife. I'm not going to, I'm going to be real slow and we're going to go right down the center of that wire. Now be careful with your fingers when you get out to this point here because if you slip you'll cut your fingers. Now they may have a tool for this but I don't have one so it's just a carpenter knife. So we're going to strip back the paper, all the paper, and the plastic. I'm going to pull that back in there pretty far. Now I'm going to take my knife without cutting my wires, be real careful you don't cut your wires, reach back in there and just give that a little cut off. So now we have one of these done. Now we're going to do the other one the same way. We're going to reach back in here and find the center of the wire, come down the center, be real careful again, getting close to my fingers. We're going to go, if you get off to the edge, move it back to the middle. And right there. So I always put my knife back in while I'm stripping this so I don't cut my fingers off. These are razor blade knives so they're pretty sharp. And I'm sure they have other tools out there to do this job. I just don't have them. I'm working with what I got. So now I'm going to reach back in here and cut these off again. Don't want to cut our wires. So now we have <clears throat> a neutral, a ground, and a hot here. So I'm going to strip off about three quarters of an inch of this plastic coating. I'm going to go down about three quarters of an inch and just strip that off and pull it out of there. So we're going to have a bear there and we're just going to keep doing this three quarters of an inch on each one of these. So when we're ready to wire this up, we won't even have to strip any wires off. These things will be ready to go. My wire strippers are ancient. Very old wire strippers, but they're working. I had a new pair that they didn't work like this. They were a different type, but these ones are actually old, but they're a lot faster and don't with the other ones. So now we have all of our wire stripped, and we have two ground here. So we're going to push them down, pull them up. We're going to take these two grounds, these two wires right here. We're going to take these two grounds and we're going to start twisting them. Well, we're going to turn them clockwise. We want to turn them, turn them clockwise like, like you would a bolt, righty tighty. We're going to tighten them up. So, as they come together, we're going to stop about right there. I'm going to get my pliers here, my antique pliers, and we're going to twist these guys. I'm going to tighten them up, not too tight, but we're going to get them tight. So we have a nice tight line right there. Now I'm going to take my... If I had some side cuts, it would be a little better, but we're going to just snip this one of them copper wires off. So now we got one copper wire snipped off. These things are sweet. These are ground uh, connectors, ground wire connectors, and they have a hole through the center of them, which is pretty awesome. So now we're going to take this wire and we're going to slide that right down through the center over top of where we just twisted and we're going to crank this thing down and get it nice and tight. So this is going to hold that ground wire from coming apart. And I will do this to every single box in my house. Every one outlet will be just like this. get them decently tight on there. Now once you got them snugged up, I'm going to take these two wires and I'm going to roll them. I'm just going to twist them and roll them back in the box. And I'm going to do the same thing with these two wires. We're going to push them down, twist them, roll them right back into that box. So now we got them four in there. Now we're just going to do the same thing with our ground. We're going to twist it and we're going to roll it right back into that box. Now when that inspector comes by he's gonna see that I think, now don't hold me to this, I think I did this properly. I think this is exactly how he's gonna to want to see it and he may come through and he might pull one box out here and see how long my wires are and make sure I got six inches of wire and uh, see if my ground is all hooked up but he'll be able to go in any room of mine and see exactly what he's gonna see in every box. They're all going to be the same. So we're going to work our way around this room. 
Uh, we have a lot of them in here. I think there is a total of how many? Do, eight? Eight. eight. We have eight outlets in this room. We have, let's get this thing. We got the TV. One down below the TV here. Come around the bend. Got one there. One there. One there. You know, we just worked our way around. We're within six foot of each other. We have a TV one there. We come across and then we come down to this box right here. Now, those are going to be, that's going to be one circuit. Now the lights, we're going to keep them separate. And the reason why we're going to keep our lights separate is if something happens to the light, we'll still have a receptacle down there to plug in a lamp for light. So they're going to be on a separate circuit. That way we still have electricity in the room, just no light. Or we might have a light and no electricity. So it works both ways. So that's what I'm doing right now, just tidying up all these outlets and get this room done so we can move on to the next one. This one has three, four. You want all four of them knocked out? Yeah, on the top. On the top. Starting our second run of wire. We're going to do the other bedroom now. I'll tell you the uh, the wire dispenser is working out great. It's really working out well. Keep our wire nice and straight. Not all kinked up. Okay, I've been using these, what they call stackers, cable stackers, and this is what they look like. Somebody opened them from the bottom. Julie. Ah, don't play me. <laughs> this is, uh, they call a stacker, and I'll show you where I use them at, and like I said, uh, I don't know a lot about these. I heard about them, so I got some from Lowe's and tried them out, and I'll show you where I'm using them. Okay, I'm going to show you up here where I'm using them. And I'm using them kind of in the attic here. You can see I have one there. And then I have one right here. And I just pull the wire over, make sure it's all flat, nice and flat, the wire is. And just snap it into place. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you probably could put two of these in each one. I don't know. But I, I don't think I need to put two in, in one. And then I just have them nailed to the top of the rafters. You can see how much neater that keeps my wires all the way down through there. Now just before they go over that bend there, I have them nailed down. And over here when they go over that other edge, they're nailed down. So I just got to hook that wire in them sta stackers right through there and then nail the other side and we'll go right down to the other bedroom. Okay, so let's get to this one here, and like I said, I make sure my cable, or my 12-2 wire is nice and flush when I stick it in there. And this is our last one here on this run. Now, you don't have to use these just for uh, this type of wire. You can put coaxial wire, any kind of cable you want, antenna wire, you can slip them in there, and it kind of just holds them into place. And they do look very neat as they go down my wall. And it keeps everything out of the way and holding it in one place.
we have the uh, two bedrooms, all the outlets are done. We have the uh, freezer in the laundry room but on its own circuit. We got the refrigerator on its own circuit. And they're done. Tonight we're going to finish up the living room. And then tomorrow we get back, we're going to do the kitchen. And then we're going to start working on some of the lights in the ceiling. So we still have a lot to do and we still need to get a pick up a lot of stuff. So, yeah. But that's what we're working on right now. Got to get this living room done tonight. And uh, now we're not doing the lights in the living room. That's the thing. I haven't done none of the lights no. yet. So the outlets. that's what we're working on. And I'll tell you, this, the, the, the roller, that thing for the wire, has not skipped a beat. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty cool. Oh, uh, we have I been... I think it'd be nice if it had a handle where you could pick it up. And exactly. It. If we had a handle, and maybe we could weld some kind of a piece of rebar up here, where you can grab it like a suitcase and carry it. It's a little rough. I just been kicking it around on the floor. But it's so nice when we're running wires is I can just grab my thing here, my spool, and I can start fishing it right through. And Julie will get on one side. Somebody kind of just pulls off the roll. It's pretty easy, but it really made it nice. No, no, you're going to come through there. You can't get down there yet. It really made it nice for rolling this wire out. Uh, we already used 250 foot already. We're on our second 250 foot. I think we might have enough. I don't know. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get the finishing these up, and then uh, we'll get you guys back in here and show you what we got done. All right, I'm going to show you guys how I go through the corners. Now this is a big old corner right now because we actually have our six uh, by six in there. Plus we got a nailer here and we got a nailer here and then we got a nailer here. So this is a big chunk of wood. So we drilled in this side and drilled in this side. And the easiest thing I found to get through there is a single piece of wire. So this little piece of wire was easy. I made a loop on this side. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a little loop right there. And I use that loop to push it through because it won't catch on anything. And then I leave this hang out this side to hook this wire on. So what I do is I strip the wire down a little bit. We're going to cut this. We're going to peel this off right here. Okay. I'm going to take a pair of pliers and I'm going to bend this back because anything sticking out frontwards is going to catch. So we're going to bend this back like that in a U shape. Just in a U shape like that. Then we're going to take this piece, I'm going to stick it through there, and I'm going to bend it up like so, and I'm going to wrap it around. It. I'm going to start wrapping it around. As soon as I get it wrapped, I'll show you what I got. Once I get it wrapped, it's going to wrap like that. Can you see that okay, Joel? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this piece here, we don't want it to catch. So we're going to take it over a little bit. I'm just going to cut it off. Then I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to smash him down. Because we don't want him to catch anything. Then we're going to take that loop right here, we're going to take our pliers and we're going to make it smaller. we got to get it to, through that little hole, it's only a three quarter inch hole. That's what I drilled around here. Around the sides are all three quarters, some places I only drilled a half inch. But these are three quarters because they're pretty good sized wire and these corners are tough. So, not yet Joel. Let me get it straightened out here. Now we're just going to pull on this wire and push that wire in. And we might have to work out a little bit, but we're going to try to get it around that corner. There we are. You see now? You see the wire? We got it through the corner with no problem. Now when I get 
ready I'm gonna waste this couple inches of wire because I'm just gonna cut this off like so and then we'll pick that up later for copper so we're gonna continue just going right around our wall Julie's feeding over there and I'm gonna feed it through this corner until we get to the next outlet okay I had this camera all day today and never even turned it on so I'm going to show you guys what we have got done so far we instead of doing the kitchen like we said we was going to do we held off on the kitchen because I wanted an outside outlet over there anyhow we had to go pick up what we needed for it and uh, I did get the bathroom done so let me show you guys a little something here now as we run these wires down, we write on them what they go to. This is each one of the rooms. If it's a refrigerator or whatever it is, it's written on every one of the wires. So we know exactly what is running off these wires. Until we can get them parts for this guy, I'm just going to hang them there. And they're going basically all the way to the bottom of the box. If you was to put them wires in there, they'd go all the way to the bottom of the box. So, let's check out some of this. We got this little light receptacle. This is our switch. We've got the switch for the closet. And then uh, we have our little pigtail, or you could call it a whip up there. We got that in for that light. And we don't have the lights to show them what lights we're gonna use. And we got, we came through here. Julie's gonna move the lighter ladder for me or fold it up and put it up on the wall, whatever. So we got the shower light done. The shower light is done. And there's your little whip or pigtail up there for that light. Now the lights that we're gonna be putting in the ceilings as you can see, we have one there too. That's not a light, that's a fan, but uh, all the lights in the ceiling, there is no boxes. You don't have to have a box. They're, they're kind of built in. Yeah, they're a little flat LED light. We're gonna show you them. Outlet there, got that one done. That's the switch for the fan when you're on the crapper. And then uh, we got an outlet right here and we got a switch done. Uh, this is for the sink and the light above the sink and then we came across and hit that light there in the uh, bathroom closet which is right here and then came out and did that little one right there I wanted to show you guys I, I've been using those little stackers up in there and look how neat all that wire looks and I just took a zip tie in between every 24 inches just so I can keep them. I didn't put it real tight, but just so I can keep them nice and organized along there. So as you see, that really looks neat. Uh, you know, I want the inspector to come in here and think a certified electrician did this. Because I'm not certified, so you may not want to do what I do. And I have the ceiling fan bracket up there. Now, we're gonna get ready to do the bracket in the other room, probably in the next day or so, or maybe tomorrow. And I did this one to see how to find the center. And as you can see here on the floor, maybe, it's kinda of hard to see, but you can see an X on the floor. And we use the laser level to do that. And then we would take a plumb ball, Bob, and hang it uh, from the ceiling down and get your center, which was pretty cool. Worked out well. We'll do this room over here and we'll show you how we did that. Uh, the little laser level is really, really coming in handy. Uh, and everybody that's actually seen it work really likes it too. So we got two bedrooms done, uh, we got a bathroom done, and we got the living room done. We basically got the kitchen, 
and the utility room and we need lights in the ceilings and we need to yeah a couple outside lights and an attic light and we need to get that box put in but I can't do nothing unless I can get them parts that's my issue right now I need parts uh, very very hard for me to get any parts so Julian uh, my son's gonna go looking tomorrow and see if they can get us some parts Oh, something else we was working on Julie was here I'll show you well the phone well, you know, to trim that off. we did the foam around all those pipes coming up through the floor, and then anywhere there's a crack uh, that we think air or something can get in, we're putting the foam on there. And then just trim it off. Yep, yeah. and then we'll just trim it off. Now, it's not the foam that gets real, real big, you know, it's four doors and windows, so. Yeah. It won't um, bend your boards, you know. Yeah, it won't bend your boards up. So that's good foam. It expands, and, and, but it doesn't go crazy. And we will do all the cracks we can find. We will put that stuff in it. Anything we can find that looks like it might get a little air through it, we're definitely going to put that in it. Mm -hmm. So, who did that one over there too? Yeah. We did this one over here on that side. So I guess we'll see you guys another day. I'm going to get ready to put another spool of wire on my dispenser <laughs> this thing is great I'm so glad that I built it so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then I think we're gonna call it a night it's been a long day and it's time for us to get some rest so I'll see you guys tomorrow